Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be reading some Am I the A-hole stories and reacting. Let's get to it. Am I the A-hole for having my phone on silent at a friend's house? Okay. My female 24 partner, male 25, is refusing to speak to me because he's upset I didn't answer my phone while I was at my friend, female 24, house. While I was with my friend, he was at a bar with one of his friends. I had messaged him asking what his plans were for later, and about 20 minutes went by without an answer, so I put my phone to charge to in the other room. I didn't realise my phone was on silent, and I didn't realise he was trying to reach me. 30 minutes later, I see 11 missed calls and some messages telling me to answer. That's a lot of missed calls. I immediately went home and he refused to speak to me until the next day. When I asked if we could talk, he snapped at me saying that I never listened to him and that my phone is always on silent. Then he went back to giving me the silent treatment. We haven't spoken since, even though we live together. I have no idea how to fix this. Am I the a-hole? I wouldn't say you're an a-hole for having your phone on silent. Um, that's a really bizarre one. If it was me, I would probably have put my phone on loud and left it in the other room, personally. Or brought the charger to me and had my phone on silent. That's just how I would have done it. Because... Like, my family don't live near me, so if they need to get hold of me, then I wouldn't know. But I think he is overreacting slightly, not talking to you. Like, I understand if he was concerned or he was worried about you, but you're at a friend's house, not like you were out on the town. You weren't possibly in any danger. You were just, like, chilling with a friend. So I don't think you're the a-hole. I think that he's maybe a little bit overprotective um but you went home you tried to apologize i don't think there's anything else you could have done but that's just my take on it so let's see what reddit have to say not the asshole you all don't even got a speck of mutual understanding or trust between each other and like the way he's upset is so childish which i think is fair I think it's a childish way to behave. Not the a-hole, this seems like controlling behaviour. He doesn't know how to handle emotions, even when he was in the wrong. Had he just have been mad at the time, it could have been excused as drunken stupidity. But him continuing to be mad after some time shows narcissistic behaviour. He's convinced himself he's right. That's true. And the one that I really like is, why is he allowed to wait more than 20 minutes to answer, but you have to respond immediately? Do you think that's normal? Because it's not really i get that if you're texting someone someone may not text back for a little bit but to then kind of expect the per that person to then reply straight away it just seems weird so i'm gonna say not the a-hole in this instance i think you know we have some things to talk about when he'll talk to you and to discuss kind of how respectful he needs to be towards you whilst you're out that's all do you want to join in come here Am I the a-hole for telling my grandmother that my fiancé's family is the only one I need and not hers? This is already interesting. Hi guys, hopefully this post goes through, but I need to pick your brains. I, 34 female, have been estranged from my mother Rachel for over two years. She was a horrible mother growing up and encouraged the fights between my brother and I. Physical? God. So she could swoop in, save me and say that she helped me. Are you okay there? She did lots of other things, like grew me against my father when they got a divorce and isolated me from friends, saying she was the only one I needed. I'll spare the rest and say when COVID started and I got COVID, she yelled at me for not talking to her because she was so worried. I had no voice. After that, and fat shaming me, I went no contact. The family has been divided with some understanding it and a lot calling me an a-hole for it. Enter my fiancé Liam, 36 male, and grandma Haley, 93 female. Liam, first of all, is my treasure. Aww. We met at an old job six years ago and hit it off. Long story short, we got engaged. He initially didn't understand the NC, but is behind me 100%. What's NC? Don't know. Don't know what that is, but fine. You're making me go out of focus. Come down. Come here. Hayley, however, is old-fashioned. She believes that forgive and forget and has insulted me a lot for ruining the family. I let it go because she's older and I wanted to respect her, so I put up with so many insults. Last night, however, I put my foot down. Good for you. When I was discussing wedding plans, I made it clear my mum was not invited. I also mentioned I was going to see Liam's family for the holidays. 
She gave a snarky comment saying, they're the only family I have now and I've lost my poo. I told her they're the only one I need and she got quiet and basically ended the call quickly. For context, Liam's family is the best and has welcomed me with open arms. I feel I may be an a-hole because she's an older woman who hates broken families, but you don't insult my fiancé and his family like that, so am I the a-hole? What do you think? I see. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't think you are. I'm now currently talking through a dog, but I don't think you are. Um, families are really hard, and if you guys have watched my how do I want to, when I should forgive someone video, I very much say in there that even though someone is family does not mean they get the right to an apology if they don't deserve it, especially. Now, in this instance, I think you've had a lot, you've gone through a lot, um, you know, you've been pitted between your parents, you've been encouraged to go and fight, you've had your friends taken away from you. I wouldn't want someone like that at my wedding either. I wouldn't want someone like that in my life. So I don't think you're the a-hole. I think well done to you for standing up for yourself. You are standing up for someone you love and the people who have taken you in a hundred percent and have shown that they love you. So Yes, I don't think you are an a-hole. I actually admire that the fact you've stood up for everything and everyone that you care about and who has shown you the care and, and respect that you deserve as well. Let's go to Reddit though. Not the a-hole, but like seriously, in the kindest way possible, please consider therapy. That's a lot of stuff to handle on your own. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you've been through a lot. It might be a good idea to talk to someone. So OP has replied saying I actually have a wonderful therapist who encouraged the no contact her exact words were you need to stand up for yourself and if you don't see value in continuing a relationship don't continue it that is yeah that is great because that's exactly what we said that don't if, if stand up for yourself is 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 important here so the next one is not the a-hole it sounds like your family is just stuck up they push you for years and years, but as soon as you insult them, they get mad at you. And it wasn't even an insult. I was just calling them out on their poor behaviour. Uh, so, an update. Thank you, guys. I understand I come off as resentful and angry, but I get it. For some further context, my grandma witnessed my, multiple, my trauma multiple times, as did my entire family, and they did nothing. The only, t the only two who ever spoke out against her were my grandpa and my uncle. My grandpa has since passed, but I still talk to my uncle. That's amazing that some of your family did stand up for you because you want you want people who are going to have your back and it's nice that some people in your family did. Uh, it's just a shame that not everyone respected you enough to do that. But yeah, not the a-hole. Moving on. Are you settled now? Yeah. Am I the a-hole for wanting to change my name against the approval of my parents? Mmm, spicy. I, 23 female, want to change my name. The problem is, my parents have with this, is that I prefer a traditionally male name to my given name, which is traditionally female. According to my parents, being in college has made me delusional, and I won't be able to find a job as a woman with a man's name. I don't have much reasoning for wanting to change my name. I started going by it online during Covid to avoid giving my real name out online and ended up liking it a lot more than my birth name. Since then I've been going by this new name amongst friends, professors, professionally etc. Basically every aspect of my social life besides family. I've simply said it's a nickname and have never been questioned about it. My parents are extremely upset about this to say the least. They're hurt that I want to change my name from the one they gave me and they say it's ruining my chances at a job post-graduation. However, going by a name I picked for myself has made me a lot happier. I wish it was something they could see too. What should I do? Are my parents right or is this being blown out of proportion? You're not the a-hole at all. I think everyone is allowed to choose a name that feels more like them if the one that they've been given doesn't resonate with them anymore if they don't feel like that person. I've worked with 
men who have traditionally female names hasn't bothered me, hasn't bothered anyone I've worked with it, it doesn't matter it could be that your parents are feeling hurt that the name they chose for you, you're just, you're just disregarding maybe, you're just thinking actually, you know, maybe they spent time... <coughs> Do you mind? We're filming. There's nothing up there. You think... So, I would say you're not the a-hole. Like I said, maybe it's just that your parents feel that the name they chose for you, you just, they feel a bit weird that you're not going to be going by it anymore. I mean, maybe you could put your current given name as a middle name, so it's still in your life, but just not the name that is legally yours going forward. Maybe a compromise would be okay. But let's see what Reddit have to say. Not the a-hole, full stop. Your parents claiming that being a woman with a man's name is going to keep you from getting a job is borderline laughable. I have plenty of co-workers with names that could fit both men and women and it's not like they're worse off because of that. Exactly what I'm saying. Even then, without considering the insanity that comes with that line of thinking, if this is the kind of thing that's going to make you happier, go for it. The hardest lesson I've had to learn is that sometimes you have to do what makes you most comfortable even when others aren't keen on it. People who care will listen, talk and try to understand. If they really cared for your well-being and happiness, they wouldn't go out of their way with bullshit excuses to say why something you know will make you happier shouldn't happen. Good luck with all of this. I know this kind of stuff sucks, but just the fact you're doing your best to fight for yourself in, is a strong in a way, many people don't acknowledge enough. Sincerely, another woman with a man's name that is working full time. Amazing. I love that. That's such a great comment. And it's so true. It doesn't affect anyone because your name does not affect your, how smart you are or how handy you are or your ability to do a job. It's to, to be rude. It's just a name at the end of the day. It doesn't really have much bearing I think I think your parents are, gro are blowing this completely out of proportion I don't think it needs to be as big a deal as they're making but let's read another one not the a-hole I can understand why your parents might be attached to your old name given it's probably sentimental to them as they raised you by that name however you're an adult it's your decision whether to keep or change your name and if you find a name you prefer it should be your choice whether you change it regardless of whether the name is masculine or feminine. They should respect your autonomy as an adult in deciding what your name should be. This is so true. So, we are born and we're given a name that our parents want to give us. But that doesn't always fit us anymore. And COVID changed a lot of things for people. And the fact that you, you know, online you found this alias that actually you found was more true to you is an amazing thing. And I'm happy for you that you've found a name that you feel fits. I would say if you feel this is you, change your name. Your parents will come around to it eventually. But like I said, maybe compromise, put your current given name as a middle name if you want to. So it kind of still stays in your name. Um, and your parents will have that sentimental side to it. But yeah, absolutely not the a-hole in this situation at all. Right guys, let's go for one more. Am I the a-hole for texting my landlord on my roommate? Basically, me and my roommates have been having problems because her boyfriend was always over. He would trash the house and not refill stuff and just uses what he pleases. He'd also walk around the house basically naked. This started to become a problem and I asked my roommate if he could just not live with us because he's not on the lease and he has his own place but he has been living here and didn't even ask me. That's such a... oh, I hate that. When someone's coming over to stay and they just don't leave. I also brought my concerns to her and was told to take it up with her boyfriend if I had an issue with what he was doing. So I expressed my concerns and nothing changed. I politely asked if he can just spend some time at his place instead of ours every day and every night. Keep in mind he would also be at the house while she was at work. After I asked her, she flipped out on me and it eventually resulted in me telling our landlord. Our landlord told her that her boyfriend could not live here and won't be allowed back in the house. He hasn't been in the house for a while but now he's suddenly sleeping over and living here again and it's making me really uncomfortable especially since he's not supposed to be here. Am I the a-hole who texts my landlord saying he's been sleeping here? 
I don't think you're the a-hole because like you're paying rent to someone who shouldn't be there you're paying for utilities and all that and, and all that sort of stuff so I get it I think you're op you do obviously have the option to move out if you wanted to you could you could always say look I don't well financially dependent obviously you, you could always you know just be like I'm, I'm gonna find somewhere else to live and then you guys can live together here or what have you I mean why don't they spend time at his place why is it always your place I don't think you're the a-hole I don't think it was petty that you did that but obviously it hasn't resolved anything really and I imagine it might have made it more uncomfortable between the three of you but I wouldn't say you're an a-hole as such so yeah I, I don't think you're the a-hole in this that, that's the short answer but I am really curious what reddit has to say nope you tried to compromise and discuss and your roommate made it clear that approach was closed she will have to watch him wave his flag in some location he's actually paying to occupy <laughs> not the a-hole true not the a-hole but it's time to find new roommates or a new place what i said this is disrespectful and unacceptable you don't need to be around irresponsible spiteful people like this yes 100 percent. not the a-hole you're a legal tenant while the boyfriend is not it's perfectly reasonable for you to raise concerns for your own safety in your own house and in order to prevent any issues for which you'd be responsible as a tenant that's so true so if something gets broken if a wall gets broken or a window gets broken that falls on you as a tenant if it's by him he's completely not liable because he's not even meant to be there you are the one who'll lose your deposit or will have to pay damages anything like that so that's completely true as well not the a-hole this is your home too you have every right to be comfortable just as much as her you could stay she could stay at his place just like he's staying at yours text away 100 percent agree with everything that's being said there you are not the a-hole you are like they've said you are liable if something went wrong so obviously we want to make sure that you're okay and that your best interests are being looked out and looked after I would say if you can look to find somewhere else try and get another flat somewhere obviously if he's still coming over you've got the option of messaging the landlord again and saying he's still here what do I do but absolutely looking after your own interests I think is yeah you you can't you can't argue with that and I think it's the best thing for you what do you think anyway guys that's all we've got for today i hope you enjoyed the video please do like the video if you like the video subscribe hit the notification bell it helps me out a lot and yeah we'll see you in the next one bye